One more day of this cold weather being below freezing, and then it's supposed to warm up. 60 Yay! on Saturday. Yay! I bet you Hope is excited for those temperatures too, huh? Yeah. Yeah. On one of the warmer days, we'll have to take her out and let her play in the snow and see what she thinks. Yeah. <laughs> She's probably not going to know what to do, is she? <laughs> nope. Hey, are you eating dirt? Are you eating dirt, you silly dog? Yeah, you don't know what dirt really is either, huh? You were born in the snow and you've only seen a gravel driveway. Band or is it flute today? Flute. Flute! Oh, okay. Have a good day at school. Hope we'll be waiting for you when you get home. Yeah. Love you. You gonna come feed the chickens? Come on. Come on, Tanner. Come on. What do you think about the chickens? You're still not sure yet, are you? <laughs> Have you heard about summer snow? When it falls on you, your blood runs cold. Don't you sweat your pretty skin Cause it melts away for it's sincere And you dream about this very night I'll go check on Hope and I'll text you and let you know how she's doing. Yeah, text me. I'll text you. Okay. Love you. Hi. Have a good day. Love you. Stay warm. I'll make sure Hope's warm. See ya. I'll see you when I get home. Okay. Love you. Love you. It's time to go feed the goats, check on Hope, and see how she did last night. It's 15 degrees out, guys. Oh, covered in ice. We're supposed to get up to the high 30s today, 40s, 50s, and then 60s the rest of this week, guys. I can't wait to see all this snow go away. Ah. Good morning, girls. I hear you, Hope. Give me a minute. Uh, nope, let's put it on your paper. Good morning, Hope. How'd you sleep? Oh, you're so nice and warm. Yes, you're so warm. That's a good thing. Yeah, you're so warm. Mm-hmm. Good girl. Let's get you some warm water. You want some nice warm water? What are you doing? You're silly. We want some fresh chaff hay and pellets. Keep them in the house so they're a little warm. I've also been putting on a little bit of power punch. It's a, like a vitamin supplement and a little energy boost for Hope because she's traveled such a far distance and with the weather changes. I want to make sure she stays good and healthy. Let me give you a little drop. Just a little bit. There we go, Hope. She really likes it. Yeah. Look right there. Smell it. You smell the power punch. Now it's time to take her igloo apart. Take the blanket off. We don't want her chewing it during the day. And I want to take the door off of the kennel so she can go in and out as she wants. So if she wants to get in the kennel to stay warm, she can. Right, Hope? Yeah. Pretty girl. You a pretty girl? <laughs> we'll be back. Behave yourself. We'll be back. <laughs> yeah, Buttercup. Keep an eye on. Keep an eye on her. Become good friends with Hope. The tomato plants that we started inside from seed are going crazy. This screen 
is to keep our crazy cat Figaro from getting into him. <laughs> every day, I've been raising up the lights and every day the tomato plants start touching them. I pick them up about three inches. This light is gonna be maxed out. Let's see, this one will do like that. This is our first year with the LED grow light. That one is doing the best. These tomato plants started under the LED grow light and these ones started under this light. We've swapped them out trying to get these plants to catch up. Catch up. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up every time I hear myself saying catch up and talking about tomatoes. We're doing a little flood irrigation like Danelle gets in her backyard in Arizona. Oh. Our goat that we were just checking on, Hope, in the goat barn, that goat is from Danelle over at Weedem and Reap. If you guys haven't checked out their channel, go on over, show Danelle and her family some love. They're a great channel, they're a great family. Always so much fun content, great goat content. Can't say enough about their channel. Grow. That's for New York City. Not for you, you crazy kitty. You ready to come outside and go to New York City, Pluto? Oh. I'm telling you, soon, 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 all the snow is going to be melted and you'll be able to come outside again. Three eggs already. Nice. It's not even eight o'clock in the morning. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. That sun feels nice. The sooner the snow melts, the sooner we'll be able to build our post and beam barn that we have sitting up there. I got me a hankering for some sticky ribs tonight for dinner. I'm gonna start with some ribs from the pigs we raised and butcher here in our homestead this past fall. Take our marshmallow out of our brown sugar. We need three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Half a cup of apple cider vinegar. third of a cup of soy sauce. Half a cup of honey. Oh, I think I made a mess last time I used the honey. Dad, if you're watching, we could use some more raw honey. I hope your bees do good this year. You over there sunbathing, Tanner? Does that feel good? Do half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of white pepper. 
one and a half teaspoons ground ginger, three quarters of a teaspoon of ground mustard. I'm gonna turn it on high and let them cook for five hours. I just went down to check on Hope and you can definitely tell she's Tilly's baby. <laughs> we gotta fix our door. Hopefully, maybe I can catch it on video and show you what she was doing. What are you doing, Hope? <laughs> oh, now you're lying down being a good girl. You gonna show us what you were doing? You gonna show us? Huh? She was jumping and she was getting her front legs up this high. So I could just see her jumping over this gate, I bet you. Let's see. You gonna do it? See? You're crazy! You are Tilly's girl. You're mine kind of goat, Hope. You don't care about the noise. That's good, because we're always doing projects around here, Hope. That should keep you safe, Hope. Added a lot more sunlight in over here for you. You're nice and warm. I love it. Yes, nice and warm. You're doing so good here in New Hampshire. Drinking plenty of water. Eating plenty of feed. Being a good goat. One more chilly day. Tomorrow is going to be beautiful. All right, I go work on the pasture pig mobile. I'll be back in a little bit to check on you. Behave yourself. Picked up some supplies at the hardware store so we can make a rainwater collection system on our pasture pig mobile, which is over here. We got a lot of new viewers on the channel, so I just want to take a second and share what the PPM is with everybody. This is our pasture pig mobile. We raise pigs in the springtime to the fall for our food. And this is gonna make it so they'll have a shelter to live in and we can move them around on pasture and we can collect their rainwater off the roof. I'm standing on ice, so if I'm sliding around, that's why. I wanna put a gutter system on the PPM, but I don't wanna use store-bought gutters. I don't find them very strong and they don't look very nice. I want to see if I can make him out a four inch round pipe. Come on, blow it out. I want to split the PVC pipe right down the middle.
I'm trying to figure out the best way to mount the pipe to the PPM. Using pan head screws, which means they got a flat bottom. I'm not going to screw the ends in place yet, so that way I'll wait till we get this end all figured out and then we'll glue these on and then we can screw it all in place. Jesus. This is what it looks like from a top. Should come right down and right in the gutter. Bring the goats down some fresh chaffe. We need this ice and snow to melt. Watch out, let us in, let us in, Willow. Oh yeah, you staying nice and warm, Hope. Up here. Hey, that's my hand. That's my hand. Couple more days, Hope, and it's gonna really be nice. Your kind of weather, 60 degrees. She loves that cat. <laughs> she sure does. The smell. <laughs> shook all the coldness off. It's a good thing Danelle and Lydia went out and bought you a nice sweater, huh? Yeah. I bet you're loving them for that. Like your neck being scratched. Yeah. All right, we gotta go do the other chores. Gotta go to New York City and bring the dogs out and let the dogs out to run. You ready to go out? Yeah. Tanner's ready. Thank you.
Come on. You got a root. What are you doing? You guys want some potatoes? I'm sorry, they're not for you. Why would you even see them like that? Cause look at them. This standing there drooling. Because she was jumping up earlier, almost as high as the gate. Seriously. Seriously. She wants to get out and be with other girls. I said, right, you know, she's Tilly's daughter. Our after dinner goat visit. Olivia already had her goat visit. She did. Huh? You want to sit with me? You had enough of me? I'm waiting to see you all day. You want to go anything good in there? <laughs> <laughs> do that. She was going to do that. Mm. What do you I would have laughed if she would have jumped right up over you. <laughs> no, that would not. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think my coat's too slippery. Yep. It's a back massage. No, because she gets my hair. <laughs> yep, she's going for your hair. <sighs> Don't ruin Louis' hat, she'll be upset. I need my yoga mat. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> 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 it's taking ah. the hat right off. <laughs> You're a crazy girl. Hey. Hey. Well, we can definitely tell that Hope is Tilly's daughter from Weedem and Reap. Uh, she's a great goat. She's got an awesome personality, and we can't wait to get some nicer weather and get outside with her. Uh, but we've been making some good use out of this weather and this time we're having. Our pasture pig mobile is coming along nicely. That'll be ready when we get our chicks here in a couple more weeks. And then it'll be ready to go when we get our pigs. What a great time it's going to be here come springtime. Man, sometimes the winter is dark or different seasons we go through is dark. But there's always a springtime. We always need to have, or there always is, different seasons. Not every season can be the growing season. We need the harvesting seasons and so on. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You guys are a huge blessing to our homestead. If you're new to the channel, we want to thank you for coming over and hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications while you're there. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.